What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the BAM section. You know we don't be stressing. I got a personal video for y'all today. I'm gonna be talking about you know, my experience growing up in the U.S., you know, American culture, you know, and also being Senegalese. Let's, let's get into it. If y'all watched uh, my intro video, the first video that I made on this channel, uh, you'll see I said there too. I have Senegalese parents. They're from Senegal, West Africa. It used to be a French colony. And they came here 1999, 2000. They got married in Senegal and then they came here. I was born in 2001. I'm the oldest of seven children. Five brothers, two sisters. And I also have uh, two step siblings in Senegal. You know, it's like, you know, growing up, growing up in the US, it's like a, like, kind of like a, it's kind of weird. I don't know how to describe it because when I was little, uh, we used to live in the, the south side, south side of Chicago. And so it's mostly, it's mostly black people black population and uh, you know kids will be kids they see me they see how dark i am oh, you from you from africa yeah the africa is a continent you know africa is africa if you're from if you're from you could be from south africa you could be from egypt they're all gonna clump you africa and like it's kind of weird to me because they black too so it's like who are you talking to you're black too you're from africa too like i was like you're from africa too they're like no no i'm not from africa i'm from the u.s like, you know the culture here is like culture here is very biased like very very talented you'll take a job anything government related it'll be you know uh white black or african-american hispanic you know check off those boxes but you know since uh since i was born here i was born in chicago i always picked black or african-american identify as african-american but lately i've started to change it you know instead of african-american i'll put you know I won't put, but I identify as Senegalese American, and the culture the culture between the two is very different. It's hard to sometimes it's hard for me to you know balance the two because culture over there is very conservative. Culture in Senegal is very conservative, and you know my. That, that means my parents are also very conservative. So it's like, you know, like over there, it's disrespectful to look at your elders uh, or um, make eye contact with your elders. Over here, it's more, it's more over here, it's disrespectful if you don't uh, look at someone, uh, if you don't make eye contact with someone. And, you know, uh, you have to juggle that, and also with the culture in Senegal, most of the people there are Muslim. Yeah, I'm Muslim too since birth. I practiced Islam my whole life. I'm still, I don't know if I would say a, a strong Muslim. I still pray five times a day. And I fast during Ramadan, um, but there's still things. I'm not perfect. I still do haram sometimes. But 
I try my best to do the right thing. I try my best to do the right thing. And you no, know, it's hard to like, like I said, it's hard to balance it's hard to balance them because you now growing up I always hear from my parents like oh, yeah you, you, you guys are different You're not like the americans it's, you know like how can you say that we're yeah we're not like we're not like them we grow up with senegalese culture but we we were born here we're going to school with them we're living here you know like i know some wolof but i i don't know i can't speak it fluently as i should wolof is the main language in senegal i can't speak it as good as I should and I speak English better because you know I've lived in the US way longer than I've been in Senegal I was in Senegal for two years and that was to to learn to learn uh, the Quran for you know religious studies and it's just like it's like being part of two different worlds you know and I know there's there's definitely been some things that I've done that like culturally culturally they can't understand it not sometimes not even the culture like maybe like religiously you just don't agree with and you know I try to I try to do my best for them I try to I try to be a good son. I try to be a good brother. And also, I have to live my life. I have to do what I can for myself. You know, the thing with being Muslim, like when you're Muslim, the religion is like a lifestyle. That's why it's the five daily prayers. You do it every single day, seven, seven times. Or five times a day, seven days a week, all the time, and you know you follow the the guidelines of the the religion like daily, as as part. That's how basically the religion is how you're supposed to live your life, and you know, grow, growing up with that too. I feel like there was definitely some some like angst some anger that I had growing up because I felt like I felt like the religion was kind of like forced like forced on me but after like learning more you know reading things for myself that's that's where I really like understood it more that's when it really like stuck to me. I feel like like that's the I feel like that's the biggest reason why a lot of a lot of Muslim kids these days that they just they just convert. Like they leave they leave Islam. Like it can, it can happen to it, it happens in other religions too. Like Catholics, uh, Christian Catholics, uh, they grow up with the religion and. They only see, they only see the bad things about it. They only see the, the things that, that you can't do. Like, no, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do this. And you know, growing up with that, it's like they they become less and less attached to it. And then over time, they just like once they're old enough, they're not they're not part of the household anymore. They just abandon it completely. And that's why I feel like. Like the kids should like the parents should introduce it to them put it before them show them what it is but they should also like let them see for themselves what it is and let them let them have their own attachment to it because then if they just they're just forced into the forced into it they're just doing it just to appease them they don't have they don't have any attachment to it they don't have any love for it and it just becomes easier for them to let it go because all they all they all all that they've seen it as was something 
something that restricted their action, something that kept them from doing what they wanted to do. And you know, this is only my opinion, so don't don't y'all don't think I'm an expert or anything. This is just my experience and how I've thought about it. You know? And yeah, like I, 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 I still call myself a Muslim. I just sometimes, sometimes it's just, you know, are you really a Muslim? Like, I'm trying to do better. I'll definitely have some hiccups, but I do what I can. And I'm living my life. I'm living my truth. I remember when I was in Senegal too. Like they know, like the, the the community in Senegal is like tight knit, or the community in like the the cities or the towns, they all know each other and they t- they're tight knit. And you know when I when I visited the 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 houses of my parents. Where, where my parents used to live. It's like... It's, it's way different than here. Like, the kids... Kids there... Have, like... Their mentality... I feel like the kids there, their mentality is way stronger than the kids here. Because they have to... Their lives are, are way harder. The way they live is... Harder. And... They just have to grow up quicker. And you know, but still, kids will still be kids. I remember them. They they know that I'm I'm from here. I was born here. Oh, you're American. Oh, well, you guys have money, right? They they think like you have money, right? Well, it's not everybody that has money in the U.S. That's just the picture that the movies and no, that's that's just the picture that the movies put out there, and that's how people from different countries see us but they don't see they don't they don't put the, the homeless people or all the the violence that's happening here they don't put that in these movies and show them to these people so they don't see that they only see the the glamour and they also think we're kind of soft are you american you have it good you don't know about struggle You know, if you know the south side, where I used to live, that's a that's a low that's like a low income area. You know, we don't have that much money. We just had what we needed to get by, like or basically what we needed. Like my dad would get some things. Like sometimes we would get the things that we wanted. It just wasn't at the point that like you get whatever you want at any time. It was like I would call it I would call it like lower middle class. Like I said middle middle class but under middle class. It wasn't it wasn't poverty, but it also wasn't like middle class, lower middle class. So, yeah, you don't, don't complain. Yeah, I know the situation. Uh, I see what it is. Plus, it's also like seven other kids, and I, I know all the people with immigrant parents. They can tell you this too. Like sometimes your parents might have like, like radical views, like very different views, and you know you can't you can't change that. I mean, you have to. You know, it's hard to change old habits. That's what they grew up with. They're entitled to have that type of mindset, but you know, it is what it is. You, you shouldn't. You can't. You shouldn't sacrifice that bond that you have with them to always correct them or try to 
make them think a different way you know they might have those views for the rest of their lives you know yeah that still doesn't take away that you know that they're your parents you know they love you you love them just keep it keep it moving keep it keep it pushing do what you gotta do all i can really say is is that there's downsides to both of them like the u.s is very the culture culture here in america is very individual and individualistic you know yeah i make this money this money is mine me 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 you know there's some good things about that but there's definitely downsides and with senegalese culture you know immigrant culture is more group oriented you you focus on the development of the group you focus on the greater good for the group but there's a you know that's that's a good thing as well but there are also downsides to that it's just learning how to tap into both of them like second generation and you know my parents didn't go to college either and so this college thing i had to figure it out for myself or with help from my my high school counselors i first went in my family to go to college and i'm navigating this space here too use use the american knowledge that i got and i'm also using the senegalese part of me and i know I'll, this is not this is only i guess the start because i'm only really now like thinking about everything like all parts of my childhood i don't know how all of that affected me I do know that that's the reason why I'm a quiet type of person. Because, you know, Senegalese culture and my parents too, they, they really value education. So, you know, I was a little kid, I was always reading, 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 reading. And, you know, this YouTube thing is a very, the big leap. Because, you know, it, it's unpredictable too. There are people that have been doing this for years and they still they still haven't reached to where they want to be at. But you know, I like it, so I'm gonna just keep going with it. It's not gonna stop me. But yeah, in the future, we'll see we'll see how how different different situations and different environments Uh, affect me and the insight that I'll have from two different cultures like two different two two cultures is better than one for sure if y'all like the video leave a like comment comment your your favorite part if you can relate subscribe I'll catch y'all on the next one peace